Hi, this is Ben Lindell from QMix.net, and you're watching Wink Sound. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find the tempo of an audio track in Pro Tools. The first way to find the tempo of a track in Pro Tools is to simply tap it in. To do so, I'm going to disable the conductor track, and then select my tempo. Now instead of typing it in, I'm going to tap it in. To do so, I just press T on my keyboard repeatedly in time with the music. Now sometimes you'll find with slower tracks, it's actually easier to tap in the eighth notes instead of the quarter notes. It'll give you a more precise result. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, now that I think I have the tempo correct, let me zoom in and just double check that the waveform looks like it's locked up to the grid. That looks pretty good. Most of the transients are right on the grid lines. The best way to double check though that you got the right tempo is to actually skip further along in the song and make sure that the same holds true. And there, look at that downbeat. Right with the transient. Perfect. Sometimes tap tempo may just not work for a track. Maybe the tempo isn't a round number. Maybe it's 68.8, 73.2, you never know. But also a lot of times with sampled music, the tempo may actually fluctuate throughout the track. So, how do I find the tempo and lock a track like that to the grid? I use the Identify Beat function of Pro Tools. Let me show you how I do that. I'm going to turn the conductor track back on and zoom into the beginning of my song. Now I can see that my waveform is starting right at the beginning of my session, which is great. That means that's the downbeat of the first bar of the song. What I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit. I'm going to find the downbeat of the second bar by listening. Alright, so now I know that this is the downbeat of the second bar. I just need to tell Pro Tools the same information. How do I do that? I'm going to make sure that Tab to Transient is turned on. And I'm going to place my cursor just a little bit before the downbeat, and then press Tab. Great, now my selector is right on the downbeat of the second bar. So then I press Command-I, or Control-I on a PC, to bring up the Identify Beat dialog. So right now Pro Tools thinks that my selection is at bar 2, beat 3, and 340 thirds. I know that my playhead is actually placed at bar 2, beat 1. I can do that simply by pressing 2, and Pro Tools clears out the rest for me. Press OK. And there, now you can see on my tempo track, Pro Tools has inserted a tempo of 75.5009. It's very detailed, but that's actually really close to the tempo of the song. So a lot of times with sample-based music, you may find that the grid doesn't always hold true to the track. So in that case, just add some more identified beat markers further along in the song. Now you can see, Pro Tools is guesstimating that my tempo between this point and this point should be 75.4993. I think it's pretty obvious that this track was recorded at 75.5. In this case, I'll turn off conductor mode and just type in my tempo manually since I know what it is. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, feel free to get in touch with us through Twitter at PureMix Online or visit our site, PureMix.net. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.